So what are the objectives of research? What are the objectives why we do research? What is the reason why we do research? The purpose of research is to discover answers to questions through the application of the scientific method. And the main aim of research is to find out the truth which is kind of hidden and which has not yet been discovered. Though each research type or each research study has its own specific purpose, we may think of research objectives as one of these categories. One is to gain familiarity with a phenomenon or to achieve new insights into it. It may be refer, referred to as exploratory or formulative research studies. Another possible objective to portray accurately the characteristics of a particular individual, situation, group, or even phenomenon or anything that can be described. And that type of research is known descriptive research. It is one of the basic and most easy type of research. I, I, I want to give you an example. This is our, this is actually the result of student survey. This is a survey of students about their allowances and frequency of visiting the library in our school. Let's try to open this one. Here is our first example of descriptive research. The question is, how many times do you go to the library in a week? Second question, how many books do you borrow from the library in a week? What types of books do you usually borrow? Does the library provide various books based on your borrowed experiences? Do you think your borrowed books help you understand more of the subjects you take? In which ways you can best understand the concepts in a certain subject? Which of these do you think the library needs change or improvement? What about a paperless transaction for borrowing books? This survey is a requirement of their subject statistics last two years ago. Okay, let's try another example. Hmm. How much is your weekly allowance? Weekly allowance survey of UPV students. So the average weekly allowance is around 800 50, 850 maybe? How much of your allowance do you spend in transportation in a day? How often do you take meals at school or nearby in a week? So in lunch, usually they, they spend lunch at home. I don't know. I, the question is, how often do you take meals at school? Correct, correct. At school. The place is school. So at lunch, they usually eat less often. Dinner, of course, they, they do it in their boarding house, in their houses. How much do you usually spend on a single meal? Around 49 pesos? Wow, so crispy. Okay, this is interesting. In a typical week, how much of your allowance go on the following? You have the symbol down here. Green for none, 0 to 25, 25 to 50. So let's see. Subscribing to plan, that's none. Wow, good student. 0 to 25 for photocopies. Hmm. 50 to 100 this color 50 to 100 for load call next is project material how much of your allowance go to your savings in a week okay none 1 to 75 75 to 150 hmm. that's good enough and now okay so let's go back to our to our lecture those surveys are basically describing the questions Descri they are describing the status of the students, where do their allowances go? Or how often do they visit the library? The purpose of that is only to portray as much as possible accurately to describe or to depict or display the characteristics of a particular individual group or a situation. Another possible objective is to determine the frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something else, as in diagnostic research studies. And of course, the last, to test a hypothesis, the causal relationship in variables, hypothesis testing research studies. 